All right, I'm going to cover what the purpose of the calibrations is for the Hubson H501S. And if we start over here on the transmitter, you'll see that our bottom number there where it says H, it says about H2, 9, 10. It's jumping around, but it's basically pointing north. So if we come over here to our compass, you can see anywhere between maybe 350 and 5 is going to be pointed north. If we're going east, that number is going to be 90. If we're going south, that number is going to be around 180. And if we're going west, that number there is going to be around 270. So that's how the quad can determine the direction of which it's heading. So now the question comes, uh, can a cell phone interfere with this? So, um, so here I've got a just a regular cell phone here and I'm going to put it up here to the side. Well actually let's start with the compass first. Alright, and of course there's a magnet in here. Alright, so you can see I'm affecting the compass. So let's go here into the quad and let's see what's happening to the quad. So clearly we have affected that. It's at H115. That's not really our direction. I'm slowly pulling the phone away and you can see the numbers are attempting to return but they're rather slow. Now if I go on the other side of the quad we're gonna get some also some different numbers. So, yeah, a cell phone can affect your calibrations, but if your cell phone is in your pocket and you're about three feet away, I don't really believe that there is going to be a problem with that. Although, if you do feel like there is, and just leave your cell phone out of your pocket. I, myself, always calibrate with the phone in my pocket. I've never had an issue. Um, but it does affect it. So, let's say... Let's get a tin box here, a little, not a tin, but a box. I've set my quadcopter on my cars a couple times. And let's see what that does. And if you'll take a look at the numbers again. I'm trying to find that north again. And clearly there is something wrong here. I I cannot find the north here. I've got the quad turned. And let me see if I can continue to go. Yeah, so I am. So look how this box has affected that. So I don't set my quad on a car hood anymore. I've had two flyaways when I saw, sat my quad on the hood. And luckily I was only at about a foot or two feet away, so I was able to recover it. So the next question is, can you calibrate it uh, with the phone nearby? So if you calibrate it and you have the phone this close, you will definitely change the north. Uh, if your cell phone's three feet away, I haven't noticed any difference. And you also have to be aware of any uh, metal buildings or anything that are around you. So I'm always clear of manholes, cars, try to go out in the middle of the street. Tony, I hope that helps somebody. Post your comments below.